Ewing sarcoma briefly. There are some characteristics for Ewing sarcoma that will help us in remembering this malignant bone tumor. Ewing sarcoma occurs more in males between the ages of 5 to 30 years old. It occurs in the diaphysis of bone about 50% of the time. It occurs in the femur, the tibia, the pelvis, and the spine. The shaft of the fibula is a special place for it. The x-ray will show moth eaten appearance. The tumor is permeative. The tumor has an onion skin appearance or some burst appearance on an x-ray due to preossia reaction. The x-rays may show codman triangles when the tumor breaks into the cortex and the newly formed reactive bone formation in an attempt to infiltrate outside the bone, invading the soft tissue. The MRI will show infiltration of the marrow and large soft tissue component. The tumor will have small, round blue cells. The nuclei are prominent and there is minimal cytoplasm. The cells may arrange in a pseudo-rosette fashion. Genetics 1122 translocation which will lead to the formation of effusion protein, EWS, FLY1, FLI1. Ewing sarcoma mimics infection. The patient will complain of pain and fever, tenderness and MS or swelling. Sedimentation rate could be high. The WBC count could be high. You need to do bone marrow biopsy to rule out metastasis to the marrow. The immune staining, CD99 positive, MEK2 positive, Vimentin positive, PAS positive. The PAS tests the glycogen. The tumor is negative for cytokeratin test and for reticulin test, which tests for lymphoma. Treatment of Ewing sarcoma. All malignant bone tumors you treat with wide resection. Whatever is a high grade malignant or low grade malignant. But when the tumor is a high grade malignant tumor, you will also use chemotherapy in addition to wide resection of the tumor. Ewing sarcoma in particular can also respond to radiation therapy. In brief, the treatment protocol for Ewing is chemotherapy and local control of the tumor either by wide resection or by radiation therapy or by both. You will use the chemotherapy before the wide resection. The surgical resection can be used when the lesion can be removed with wide margins. The radiation therapy treatment has problems of its own but it is used for local control of the tumor in areas where limb salvage is not possible or if the patient has a positive post-resection margin or in case of advanced disease with metastatic lesions. Radiation can also be used in surgically inaccessible sites or when there is a poor chemotherapy response. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.